Oh, there's a glare. Yeah, I'll just roll with it. Hey guys, so I'm back here and I was gonna do my January favorites. This is going to be the first series on my channel where I talk about everything that I liked or I found out about in January. So to start off with, I have these 100% uh, wool uh, gloves from Upstate Stock, as you can see there. And uh, I got these because my previous gloves that I had ripped, and they ripped like right here in the seam and everything. So it was kind of unusable unless you wanted a cold palm, so I don't know why you'd want that. So I went and bought these. They were $29? Uh, for $39 you can buy the gloves with the black deer skin on them. This is the charcoal color that I got and I'm very happy with them. They're actually really really warm and one thing that I like about them is that they come up pretty far on your wrist so when you put them on you don't have to worry about like your sleeve getting too far out. See if I stretch out my my arm is still covered and I still have that much of room before I start getting actual skin so it, it easily protects and I like that they put more room into the uh, the palm area so that you have more movement in there and it doesn't constrict um, but I really like these they're they're really really warm like I would probably not wear these if you have above 40 degrees and 40 degrees is kind of pushing it because uh, I wore these in a kind of like sleet weather it was it was sleeting and it was 29 degrees with sleet so these didn't get cold when they got wet and I got them pretty wet like my hands were pretty cold the only downside to these is there's no fingers whatsoever so my fingers were freezing cold the palm I took these off and it's like nothing ever happened. They were the same temperature that they were when I put them on. So these regulate heat very well but if you need to uh, have really really warm hands and keep your fingers protected then I would go with the full glove model. I chose fingerless because I like to work with my fingers and I kinda need them while I'm working. So I have uh, American Crew Fiber I got this. There's Elvis Presley. Oh, 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 the king, the king. Oh, wrong. Um, I got this for Christmas. I had never tried American Crew any of their products before, but I heard great things. I always heard that fiber was the one that men always go for, and I have it in right now. But my hair's kind of crazy, so <laughs> it didn't it didn't work today. But I really like this product because it it has a nice smell to it. It's kind of like a citrusy. Reminds me of lemon. I, I definitely smell a lemon when I smell this. And that's its color. It's kind of a, a, a pale yellow color. Um, but another thing with this is that it has right here uh, high hold and low shine. I like that it's low shine because with uh, shorter hair to medium hair you don't want your hair too shiny because it could look greasy and it's better if you have shinier shinier not shiny hair with longer locks because it, it just looks nicer in my opinion, but if you go for shorter to medium hair, my opinion, low shine's really good, and high hold is really nice because I have a mass of unruly, thick, curly hair. So this, like, if I just do this, whoa. But this, it keeps it in place. Like, I lock it down pretty nicely, and I mess my hair up. <sighs> okay, but I really like this product, and I have... I got two for Christmas, so I'm cutting through this one. Okay, then uh, for music I've been listening to lately, I listen to 21 Pilots. They're my favorite band, and I only own Blurry Face on CD, but I could never find Vessel in our, in our local Walmart. So, and I was just in Walmart one day, I was like, I'm gonna go to the music section and if I find Vessel I am right here right now buying it and going home. I could buy it online but why wait that when I could just go to the store and check. 
So I went and I was like, crap, it's not here. It's nowhere to be found. I flip over the last one to check and I found Vessel. So I've been listening to this one in the car lately and I really, 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 really like Vessel. Uh, one thing I noticed about Vessel's music on this album is that it's more kind of like light. It's not as deep into the... I don't want to say it's it's not as deep as Blurry Face's album because yes, Twin Pods has always talked about deep things, but this one just has a nice like upbeat feel to it. Like you can you can bob your head to it. And not that you can't do that with Blurry Face like with Ride, but I mean, this is a good. I imagine this is like a good summer track. You put this on when you're going on a road trip and you can just do 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 do. do. Uh, next. Next. I have been watching uh, some anime recently. In this month, I have been watching Chun Chunbio, Chun Chunibio. I don't know how to pronounce it, honestly. I've heard many different things, but it's about this girl named uh, Rika, and she has eighth grader syndrome. She thinks she's this oh the wicked eye. Oh, I can control everything. I am have great powers. Nothing can stop me. She's in this. Uh, she's in the same school that the main character uh, Yuta is in, and he ditched his eighth grade syndrome in his last school. He moved schools to avoid this eighth grade syndrome. But she shows up, and he's trying to like bring it back. The whole series is about uh, Yuta trying to keep his eighth grader syndrome under control and away out of his memory, but. Rika is wanting to like change him and she's wanting to keep hers but he's trying to change her so I really enjoyed season one the season two was okay it wasn't as good in my opinion I preferred season one because just like the build up to the good stuff and then in season two it, it was good I enjoyed it but I enjoyed season one more and the OVAs are always fun so uh, another series of anime that I've watched is uh, Konosuba it came out recently, as in last year of January of 2016, if I recall correctly, to March, I think. I watched all of season one in about five days. It was more of a casual show, like, I wasn't gonna, oh, I'm gonna watch this and binge watch it, whatever, whatever. It, it took me like five days. Normally if I wanted to binge watch that, it was like ten episodes, I would have watched it within a day or about a day. But I didn't, so. Um, I really enjoy it. It's like this, just this parody on fantasy tropes. There's cliches that aren't included because uh, uh, Kazuma is not a cliche character. He doesn't, he isn't a cliche guy whatsoever. Um, Aqua is a goddess who is really, really dumb and she can't do anything really except nature's beauty but uh darkness is just darkness has problems uh megamine she can just fire one spell but hey spell is powerful it gets the job done i like megamine Meg megamine's cool okay that pretty much encompasses encompasses the whole of January favorites. So, if you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I would very much like to get some feedback on this since this is my first video on my new channel. Since if you didn't know, I had another channel, but it got copyrighted for some strange reason and then I got blocked. Whatever, whatever. This is a, a, a reincarnation of that channel. So, Everything that I uh, talked about will be linked in the description. Anything with prices, I'll try and find the lowest price. I'll link stuff, the, the shows I watch, down in there too. And I'll also link my old channel or whatever if you want to go watch some of those. It was just Vlogmas and one gaming video, but whatever. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Gabe Smith. I'm out.